Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, did you see the snowflakes falling outside? See, we've had some snow this winter in the Treasure Valley, but that's pretty much been the story since November. We had snow on the ground in November, and that's been about it. For most of the valley, not much has happened. Uh, we get snow from time to time, and that'll actually accumulate a little bit, but it's just not going to stick around. It shows up in the charts there, but not, not too much else besides that. Now, the Magic Valley did have some snow, and the Central Mountains have had some snow. The skiers have done pretty well between three and six inches, depending where you go in the last 24 to 48 hours. Bogus Basin had, I got the number right here, I wrote it down. Bogus Basin had six inches, Brundage at three, Tamarack five, Sun Valley a few inches of snow, same thing at Soldier Mountain, so some fresh powder out there. Here's what's going on right now in the Treasure Valley. And you look at Boise and the view from the Grove Hotel. We look towards the southwest, and this is a key direction because you see the cloud cover departing in one side, and the drier air coming in from the from the uh, west there. Now, temperatures are above freezing, but overnight tonight we will drop below freezing for the first time in a while. Most all of the moisture that fell today, and there wasn't a lot, likely will dry off most surfaces. But there are a few of those isolated places that might still have some moisture left over that could have some slick spots tomorrow morning. But other than that, 38 degrees right now. And there's you see the temperatures across the region. It's 42 in Ontario, down to 30 in Twin Falls. And in the mountains, we've slipped back below. Remember, we were in the mid-30s yesterday. We're at 28 in McCall with some snow that has been falling. But this is the Highway 55 and up through Smith's Ferry, the road up to uh, Long Valley. Valley, Cascade, Donnelly, McCall, and it's just wet right now because the road's treated, uh, which is certainly good news. And with the snow being light, conditions should be pretty decent. You get up to 5,000 feet, it could be a little bit more dicey. So just be careful if you do have to do some traveling tonight. Beautiful view from Stanley today. Let fresh snow in the trees up at Redfish Lake. Just gorgeous. 27 degrees now with snow showers still continuing. And across southwest Idaho, the Doppler radar, you see a few things moving, but it's just really nothing. A, a flake or two of snow, and that's it. Clearing is pushing in from the north and west, for the most part. You see partly cloudy sky there, and some snow showers in the higher elevations south of uh, the Magic Valley, but that's really it as that disturbance moves on through. But the direction of the air is now coming in from the north and west, so we've got all this mild weather surging up in the eastern Pacific in response to that colder air is coming in across the northwest, but it's not extremely cold. It's just a little colder, and that's why uh, not too much is going to be happening here. This kind of shuts off, this high pressure shuts off the main storm flow, pushes the moisture to the north. But as moisture goes around the ridge here, it tends to dry out and you get these weaker disturbances coming in. So we're likely to get a little bit more snow. Watch it right here. This is Thursday night into Friday, a few more inches of snow in the central mountains while the valley may see a, a couple of snow showers trying to pop up, but really not much going on. But the mountains will get some snow, and that's a drier, fluffier snow with the colder air coming in from the north and west, and then the heavier snow in eastern Idaho. But tomorrow afternoon, the wind will pick up a bit. So I'll have a blustery, chilly breeze, but the sun will be shining. And so if you can block yourself from that wind and face the south, uh, the opposite direction of the wind is coming from, you might have a pretty decent part of the day. On Friday, it's going to be tougher, a stronger wind gusting to 25 to 32 miles per hour in the Treasure Valley on Friday, even though we have a mix of sun and clouds here for a time. And then on Saturday, the wind does appear. It's going to be just a little bit lighter. Good news there. There's your McCall forecast, and it does show a chance of two to four inches of snow between Thursday night and Friday, and then scattered snow showers through the weekend but not a lot of accumulation, but there will be some. So just keep that in mind as we go into the weekend. And the temperatures as far as above and below normal, notice to the east of the divide, temperatures 25 to 30 degrees below normal, but we're still in the red in southern Idaho, which means temperatures slightly above average. So we've got more of that coming on in. Here's my extended forecast shown for the Treasure Valley, where the temperatures are cooler tomorrow at 44, uh, mostly sunny, but a blustery, chilly wind, and then a little more cloud cover coming in Friday and the wind will whip. Even though we hit 48, it's going to feel a little blustery. And with partly cloudy skies on Saturday, not so bad at 51. That's really mild. The breeze will still be around, but it will get lighter. And so Saturday could be decent and Sunday. It looks like a pretty nice weekend coming in. But notice the low temperatures. We go from the mid 30s into the mid to lower 20s by the middle part of next week. So that's some colder, drier air coming in from the north and west. So not real cold, but 41 on Tuesday and Wednesday it next week is as cold as it gets because the temperature goes right back up Don after that and so yeah it is going to get a little bit colder and we'll notice it in the mountains we'll notice it if you're skiing but there's not a lot of moisture associated with that as well yeah if we could just get rid of that breeze <laughs> that's for sure all right
Thanks, Scott.